Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to move to the uh, carcass section of the EPD. <clears throat> One thing you'll notice when you start looking at a lot of EPDs is you'll, uh, you'll notice that a lot of these <clears throat> carcass weight sections will have low accuracy scores. And the reason why that is, is because m most of the time these carcass scores are done, uh, they're based off DNA tests and genetics from uh, back testing. To get a uh, to get an actual 100% what if they say you had a bull and uh, he come back with these numbers and actually it was 20 30 percent you'd have to get an actual ultrasound done to actually get these numbers exact okay and there's a lot of people just don't do that um, <clears throat> we'll start off with CW CW is carcass weight it's the uh, I'll read you the actual well I'll read you two definitions here. It's kind of tricky. We'll get this confused. Uh, carcass weight is expressed in pounds as a predictor of the differences in hot carcass weight of a sire's progeny compared to the progeny of other sires. <coughs> now, I'll read you another definition. You might be asking, what's a hot carcass? A hot carcass is the weight of the carcass immediately after slaughter. Okay, so that's that's what that means. A lot of people kind of will misinform that with a carcass weight is just you know what the animal weighs. No, no it's not. Okay, the next section is <clears throat> marbling. This is based off the USDA's marbling score and it's based on a, a, a grade factor. <clears throat> you have to actually get an ultrasound or after butcher or, or to get this score right here. Ribeye is absolutely done with ultrasound you have to get, if you want uh, an actual realistic uh, score of what the animal's uh, ribeye is, you have to get an ultrasound down and the ultrasound done and they literally go in there and measure the ribeye. And this is an area, so it's square inches. <clears throat> Last but not least we have fat. Fat is actually, they'll go in there and actually measure the fat between the 12th and 13th rib. And this is in inches thickness. It's measured in thickness and in inches. That's something up. Some people thought this was centimeters. It's actually derived from inches. <clears throat> That's really about it. And I guess uh, you just you don't see high accuracy scores very often in the carcass section. Yet again, because you have to get an ultrasound done and it gets expensive. It's time consuming. Uh, whenever you register your animal. The, the Angus Association will give you values for these numbers, and mo my, most people will go with that. Um, you can pay the extra money, get the ultrasound done, and you can get these numbers exact because they literally go in there and measure the ribeye. And uh, <clears throat> that's really about it. That's all I've got on carcass.